Mobility. Mobility. Okay. So we want what? Flexion, Flexion abduction. abduction, external rotation, also known as what's the nickname for it? The waiter. The waiter. The waiters, right? We're carrying the waiters, right? Okay. And then we want what's the opposite of it? The sword. The sword. Grabbing our sword. Our waiter. Grabbing our sword. Our waiter. Okay. Grab your sword and you pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. You can pull it out too. It ruined a good analogy. I think a no, good that's analogy. a better one. That was a better one. <laughs> Grab the sword, pull it out. That's a better one. Okay. One, you can one to the clock. Um, what did I say? Yep. So we got flexion, abduction, external rotation, and we have our object, which is relative extension. Even though we're going across the body. I'm not fully extending, but it's relative to the flexion, right? Relative abduction, internal, reduction, internal rotation, and a deduction. Okay? Make sense? D2 patterns. We're starting over here. D2, flexion, abduction, so rotation, extension. This is not extension, but it's relative to the flexion. Adduction, and internal rotation. Okay? And it's the same thing that we're doing before. We're doing our same motions. Oh, this is the one we're going to do. Okay? That's it, right? Flexion, abduction, internal rotation. Yeah, I don't see actually. Some of the pictures come from his old book, and some pictures come from his new book. So he looks really young in some of them, and then later on he gets really older. But he gets older, but in color. So, <laughs> so that's really funny. So I'm gonna go, I'm promote, trying to promote flexion. My resistance is at the elbow and at the wrist, right? Push into my hand, push into my hand, push into my hand. So my cueing was a little bit off for her because she needs a different cueing. I'm gonna push into this side, okay? So push into my hand, come up, and I, I get that, now I get that external rotation, and I come around, okay? And I'm just rotating my entire body. Flexion, remember, push into my hand over here. Push, 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 push. There we go. Right. And I switch. Come on, push down. Again, again, push into here. There we go. And, then, and I can generate those motions and come back. Right? I don't need to put a lot of resistance for her. Push. Right? Because she'll fatigue. Push into my hand. I can switch anytime I want. Push into my hand. She just follows me through, right? That's what I want you guys to get accustomed to. Just knowing that, <laughs> that they're just following where I put my hand to go where I tell her to go based on your hand placement. That's why we don't need conscious control, right? She was getting confused as to what I was doing, but when she was following me, because you're just pushing into my resistance, okay? Flexion. Now, if I want to promote flexion, abduction, external rotation, where do I start? Yeah. The opposite, right? Extension, ad adduction, internal rotation. Hands at the wrist, hands at the elbow. I'm assuming she already knows what the motion is, because if she knows what the motion is, that's only when I'll add resistance. Push into my hand, push on the push, 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 push. Right? And that's our motion. Same thing if we're up here, we're trying to go down, opposite direction. If I'm trying to promote extension, adduction, internal rotation, where does she start? Flexion, external rotation, abduction, add my resistance, push into my hand. And you can see, I'm, still, I'm just keeping contact in the direction that she's going. Uh, no broad contact, 